Hello and welcome to my friends and family around the world. So we drove from uh, southwest to southeast part of uh, Portugal and uh, we thought that was a castle way. So Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and family, a very warm welcome to Scotland. We are live from Scotland. A few friends, they are just coming down. Uh, we're just waiting outside their apartment. Uh, once they're back, we'll be setting off on a creamy coffee and a fresh air outside, why not? <laughs> Lieutenant Alban Arioniti, Albanian. Joined the Navy 2003, highly disciplined, intelligent, assertive, trustworthy, dedicated, tons of potential. 17 successful flying missions, starting from the invasion of Iraq. And a suspension for disobeying orders. Am I right, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Then I hope you have a good explanation for your actions. I do, sir. What the hell happened up there, Lieutenant? After two circulations, we saw that on the ground there were only children and women. The attack wasn't necessary, sir. And who are you to decide what is necessary? You were there to follow orders. With all respect, sir. Orders instructed from your commander. Orders directed from the Secretary General of NATO. I have given NATO a good eight years of my life, sir. But there were only children playing on the ground. There was no evidence of rebels on location. I am trained to fight against an army, not against innocent civilians. What are we really here for, sir? If they're rebels, why not invade by land, instead of bombing innocent lives? We've made this mistake in Iraq. Mistake! You were there to do what you were told, soldier. That is what we do. We follow orders. Do you understand? Do you understand? You're suspended from duty. Prepare yourself for a court martial, Lieutenant. You're free to go. I disobeyed a criminal order, sir. How do you deal when you become overconfident of something which you have achieved? Because um, some people think being overconfident is harmful. For me, it's not harmful. Why? You have to be, in my experience, I don't care what people think about my opinion because I have my opinion and I cannot, you know, change my opinion because of people's opinion. In my opinion, when your overconfidence is reasonable and uh, it is benefiting people, then it's good. And when it is a careful overconfidence, when you know that you have done things carefully, making sure you haven't done anything wrong to be overconfident. How do you handle overconfident, overconfidence when you think you are overconfident and people around you, they just get uncomfortable because of overconfidence? How do, um, you, how do you become overconfident? Well, well the, the thing is that uh, it's, it's important that uh, I, I do not disagree that after hard work and when you win and achieve your goal that's your moment to enjoy and that's a moment also to learn from it to see that you can achieve and you can do things that things are not impossible everything human is impossible and 
nothing human is not impossible. Um, and it's your time to enjoy that. And that will give you a certain confidence for your next step and your next step and your next step. However, it's important for this confidence not to be not to to to, to turn around into a into an arrogant confidence. Yes. All right. Yeah. This is what what we should in this respect we should be humble. Even though we achieve and we want to enjoy our achievement, should be still should, should be humble, and stu- it's like it's something called. I've learned this when I was in the army. A soldier thinks always forward. Okay, he does a mission, he completes the mission, he goes forward. He completes another mission. Go, he, he, the, a soldier always thinks forward, 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 forward. Whatever happens, happens. You gain the experience, you gain the confidence with you, but it's important to be humble not to be arrogant and to keep going because that's when people make the mistakes but Marlon, that's when people slide let me ask you a very tricky question it my main point of attention which i would like to shed some light on is it's people's understanding when 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 you get overconfident people they are in they are people in the society who cannot distinguish whether your overconfidence situation you being overconfident is in an arrogant way or you're being humble even you present yourself present your overconfidence with humbleness they still don't distinguish between you uh, and it really affects people's strength because let's say if i go on my instagram stories most of my followers they feel that i'm just showing off but my intentions are not to show off it's what john says what i've he's a very good friend of mine i've read his book and you know i've met him various times in various expos what john says that uh, showing up uh, sh- is not showing off uh, so when you show up something there is difference between up and off off means that you are doing something with arrogance showing up means you have learned something and you're just sharing it out but people take it in a wrong manner they think you are too overconfident and where the hell do you get this overconfidence from why because they cannot distinguish between being overconfident in an arrogant manner or being overconfident in a humble manner well i think it depends what you achieve and this links it's got a direct connection uh, about uh, we we talked previously just a few minutes ago about uh, uh, the the accidental success yes okay this was i had a friend once like because we all had those kind of friends okay i had different kind of friends i had a friend one where he was a um he lied someone he took from that person a thousand euros lying to him uh, that uh, that he would do an operation he had hernia and he would do an operation and then he lied to him and after he took that money to him he would never give it back because he would never give it back but he was coming across with an overconfident uh, 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 ca- uh, attitude of how clever i am that i convinced this other person i took this money away from him. Um, but at the end of the day he was overcompensating for what for lying and lying is it's a negativity in general yes it is and that person now from this overconfidence did kept going kept going kept going and then after some months i heard he was in prison so that's where it led him he must have done this to many <laughs> then many friends it, well b- but that was the mistake misunderstanding misunderstanding uh, lying from goodness yes negativity from value that's what the mistake be he thought he was very clever because of lying but lying is not being clever it's not positive it's not positive at all and lying is the um, biggest wild thing uh, in life people would ever think of uh, cuz lying you know it, it just it just you know takes the respect away of a person you just try to be with and when they find out that you have lied to them it really affects uh, your sort of repute and of course you try to be as strong as you can but you are the weakest person if you lie I and mean, that's what I experience um last few questions and we'll just wrap it up um very interesting question what do you do when you feel not happy but when you feel happiest 
I just try to enjoy that moment because I know it will go away from me probably the next day when I go to work or something happens. <laughs> so to feel happy and to be happy, there's nothing wrong with it. Actually, I try to smile every day when I wake up. Uh, the first thing I do, I just put a smile on my face. I smile in the mirror. I smile when I come to you. If you remember our days before, I used to come in singing. Yes. To work. <laughs> or practicing oh, your dialogues okay. of your plays. Or practicing my dialogues, etc. Et and I'm like, Mollen, Mollen, so, keep the volume down, people are I there. don't think there's a problem. <laughs> of I mean, course everybody not. can feel happy and can, can, can. But it is good to practice the yeah. smile, to practice happiness, to find it within you, to see within yourself that, you know, whatever is going on around, that's not me inside. Of course not. It's a, to keep inside kind of rich, uh, pure. Um, it will require a lot of work and, uh, and it's not easy. It's not easy with what is going on around. I mean, this is this is a big topic. This this topic of the happiness. It's a big, big topic. It's a separate, of course. Um, but the problem is, people in happiness as well. When they see people, I mean, we live in a very. For me, social media is a place where I can connect very with various sort of platforms I am engaging myself in. I run about six Facebook pages, you wouldn't believe. So I'm looking after business and marketing sector of my dad's business in Pakistan. For that, I had opportunity traveling all around Europe, going to various incredible expos, meeting the companies direct who I struggled all my life, who I wanted to be with, who are in the business for, let's say, 30 odd years. Now they take me as a threat. When they watch my videos on Facebook, they are like, oh, hang on a minute. Because what happens is when the customers go to them, first thing they ask them is about my videos. And I get questions from the same customers because, you know, customer, it's a, it's a very different topic. It's slightly off subject, but it's related to mental strength. I mean, I would like to share my opinion, how I increase my mental strength. I stop listening to people who started limiting my life because when people start limiting your bloody life you know you are going in the right direction and they are against your mental strength so what i did i just started going to the expos myself time after time after time even though i don't have zero sales i don't i haven't sold much to any of the customers but at least i have captured the market in pakistan and of course in europe for the moment when these companies see me every year you know you have seen various interviews on youtube of mine I've got camera and microphone always ready with them and first thing I do I just tell them I would like to do the product review for them and straight away they feel happy because they know their product will be marketed and people will come to know why because marketing is an industry where you just pick the product up and tell people what you feel about it and when all the people the big big think massive respective think tanks are sitting in the market when they look at my videos they get scared they get frustrated they get threatened why because they have been to the same expos but they haven't presented the same products they are selling making the revenue generating the revenue for upcoming generations what i am presenting although i don't have revenue yet but at least the customers they have started changing their mind why because of my mental strength because the moment i was listening to rejections and people who are limiting my life i have distanced myself from them and that was the time I started growing. Secondly, I'm doing a talk show with my brother. So what we do, we do it consistently. It is not to be famous at all, first of all. What we are doing, I want him, which he has gathered and gained a lot from me, in a way, you know, in form of information. And, you know, you know, you got to, you got to have a brilliant IQ level so you can stand up and talk. I why I call myself Emerging Motivational Speaker. This video, as you know, it will be shared on my Facebook page. I want to tell people that I really want to connect with the right ones. I have already filtered my life through the trash of people who I met across and they were disastrous to myself. Although I thank them with immense gratitude and respect, if they weren't in my life, I wouldn't be as strong mentally as I am right now. Why? Because they say that you've got to have some mistakes and failures and people who rejected you in your life because without them you would not know what is a mistake and what is a failure so having these respective haters i call them 
it's it's very good for emotional intelligence that they make you emotionally so intelligent that you stand up and tell them when they tell you oh sorry you can't do it it's out of your control and you just tell them watch me um well hating is a uh, i mean hating is quite old it it's it's quite old and it's quite an old it's an old disease i mean we've been fighting it for years for 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 centuries but if you do what you love and if you do your work with love yes okay then i i believe you'll find the right people in life yes you, you direct yourself towards the, the 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 right people you can work with um you become a better person you become a better human being by becoming a better human being with love with care uh learning from the wise uh, uh giving to the society obviously your life will become better and the life around you will become better absolutely right as i said hating is a misfortune it's an old illness uh normally people hate you when they feel threatened when they feel jealous about something something they cannot do it's when i go across people which i know i know because i know they hate me i know they're jealous all right i I'm try sure i try i try <laughs> i try to ask them what they do and i try to give them some advice of how to do it they don't want okay? to take advice no that's fine i try to ask them what do they want to do what they doing how have they been doing it and just uh without wanting to teach them because people especially when they're adults they do not want to be taught yes. they take it as teaching all right yes So in that way I can say things like you know what you don't want to listen to me do what you want. Say, no that's fine you don't want to listen to me okay that's fine I'll give you a book Right okay so that's that doesn't mean that I want to teach you I'm just suggesting a book yes. and hopefully you can take it and read it and then you can just push it, me it away might help, yeah. and then it might help it's if I I believe that love the love and the heart are big enough to to overcome hatred Uh, William Shakespeare because I'm an actor he has written a, a, a great masterpiece called Romeo and Juliet where uh where love between these two families that hate each other doesn't care Absolutely. it's stronger that uh love it's stronger than the vengeance that they have between themselves love is stronger than any quarrel any jealousy any hatred love is stronger even than death and shakespeare has written a great masterpiece which i would suggest read it and watch it if you can the problem is people who don't want to love and just want to hate i just love loving them why because all the haters and people who don't want to love how i look at them is they are there living their life for short term goals remember one thing marlon i have practiced it myself and it is for my valid audience that when you practice your life for being happy in a short term you will end up being a hater or you will end up not liking people's success and it will affect your mental strength and the moment you start thinking for long term goals to achieve your happiness and keep re- having rejection on your face keep being ridiculed keep being you know facing failures you will be a stronger person after certain amount of time but you will definitely will be why because you will go through so much rejections so much pain people will inject the dirty blood in your blood to make you give up but the moment you don't give up it helps you in your mental strength that is one of the most lethal secret of becoming mentally strength strong um mind. yes yes I, i i would agree that uh, the society matters a lot um the society around matters a lot the situation matters a lot but um at the end of the day you decide what you want to become in life the decision is yours you can't blame anyone okay there's a lot but the decision is yours you decide what you want to become that you want to become a better person and what you want to give to society and as long as you have that there's nothing society can do there's nothing they can do they can be whatever I thank you for your valuable time to be with us today but finally I would love to share something with you and with the audience um we this is the final point I'm really sorry I've taken so much of your time I'm sure 
this video will be seen far across the borders and beyond our imaginations because there's so much intense and so much valuable information for people who are struggling with their life um i am not a religious person although i'm a born muslim uh and i had the opportunity i i said to myself you know quran is one of the glorious book uh, you know like bible respective bible respective torah and all the books came into this world uh and i started reading you know the description and in depth translation of it and uh, the f- when i came across chapter 2 which is called the cow surah al baqara in that chapter allah says in quran that if uh, this is related to fear and how to be mentally strong stop being scared of people black magic and uh, people who are trying to threat you or harm you why because if i've written success for you if i've written benefit for you no one can dare in this entire world to harm you if the success and you know benefit has been written in your life what people do in life they when they get upset when they get uncomfortable seeing you prospering in your life and growing they start putting limitations in your life and they are very very toxic form of advice what they do they start giving you advices which they can't do themselves but they just want to do advice in a way so you can stop doing things and i have learned and gained so much energy because my parents a lot of my friends they keep telling me fahad you are exposing too much yourself on social media you have to be careful because people would talk about you i said let them when they talk about me i feel happy it makes me happy that at least i am doing something which they cannot do i'm not saying it with arrogance with all due respect it just makes me happy because when you start put limit putting limitations in my life i would prove you wrong why because this is the best mental strength and when i started referring to the glorious religious books and glorious incredible books ever i've read to date which i'm more reading day by day it is giving me more enlightenment to learn what is fear because i want to learn about fear about failure because people in this world because of this covid bloody 19 and because of so much other stressful problems people have injected in their blood and in their mind and in their soul and in their spirit they are struggling not to be mentally strong i thank you for your time if you have any final comments please do so from my side i would like to thank you once again for being with us here oh thank you very much for for having me here it's uh, i mean i well, we had these conversations before together but never in front of the camera and uh, probably a lot of people would see the video but uh, Yeah, I just want to tell everyone that whatever is around you, whatever is going on around you, okay? Your life is yours and you want you can make what you want. It's yours. You can make. Don't give up. Keep going. Uh there's a lot of good advice up there. Uh be strong. Put your mind and your heart into what you want and things will start to happen. Remember one thing, fear stands for falls evidence appearing real don't let yourself to be feared from people's opinion people's rejection the moment you get fear you are giving opportunity the remote control of your life into the hands of someone who doesn't deserve to control you the moment you start being feared you are being controlled by people's opinion so what i always say we should care less what people think of you we should care more what we think of ourselves this is the best one of the best of the best secret to be mentally strong thank you very much for your time and i will catch you soon somewhere in near future thanks very much thank you hatred paralyzes life love releases it hatred confuses life love harmonizes it hatred darkens life love illuminates it did you know if you can't be corrected without being offended you will never ever grow in life everyone makes mistakes in life but that doesn't mean they have to pay for them the rest of their lives sometimes good people make bad choices it doesn't mean they are bad it means they are human the smarter you get 
the less you speak. Whatever makes you feel the sun from the inside out, chase that. When you find no solution to a problem, it's probably not a problem to be solved, but rather a truth to be accepted. They say, stop being impressed by money, fame and status. Instead, be impressed by those who treat other human beings well in both good times and bad. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode. Catch you fairly soon in near future.